Hello there, my name is Alma Faye and today we're playing Sally Face Numero dos Sal? Sally, where are you? Is this another dream? He's not wearing a mask It's mom Don't wander so far, sweetie I want to see the doggy, mom Can't you hear him? Why don't you wait until your father gets here, okay? He should be here any minute now. Please, can I go pet the doggy? Alright, Sal. Just give me a second to get my purse. Then we can go together. Yay! I'll wait over there by the trees. Is she gonna die because of something dumb? The trees? Oh. Is it what? I didn't wait, that's the problem. What the fuck? What happened? Excuse me? Excuse moi? What? A bag. A dog collar. The dog is dead. <gasps> so, I chased the dog. And the dog was ran over and mom saved me and now she's dead too. I don't know. I'm assuming. Enter. Okay, this is a, a nightmare again. Who? Mrs. Sanderson. Wasn't she the one that died? Thank you so much for coming to help out with the toilet. No problem, Mrs. Sanderson. I'll have it unclogged in no time. Wonderful. Herman would normally have taken care of it himself, but unfortunately, his fingers have turned into banana peels. And the street corner is just so dangerous. I understand. Thank you so much, Larry. The bathroom is just over there. Ah, so now I'm seeing this in, in Larry's perspective. Where's the toilet, though? Why is the bathroom like this? Ew, what the heck? Why doesn't she do this herself? Oh my god, this is so quirky and wacky. I'm... Pony. My little pony. <laughs> you there. Please, help me. What's wrong? The water. It's stopped. So thirsty. Don't worry, I know how to fix this. Please, hurry. You know how to... the water stopped. The he... I can't, I can't think of any theories right now. Let's just see what's, what's happening. Cause I don't know. I mean, I, this is the stu... the tubes, this is the... Eu tô dentro dos cães da Sanita. Eu tô nos cães do esgoto. É isso? É isso? I don't... Switch? <gasps> oh, yeah, sure. <gasps> Switch again, and I hear. Oh no, this is gonna be some kind of grun. <gasps> There's an order. Okay, now I need to go to the first one, right? Because it was red, and you know, you know what I mean. Okay, so the toilet ate me. It worked. Nice. Okay, so I got the the water running, right? And now the pony is not... Oh, now it's a pool. Yeah, for sure, for sure, this, uh, yeah. There's an eye. Okay, anyways. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so the water made it in, in flame. So the water made it go... Big, cause it's it's got water, and now I can pass, cause it's a bridge. <sighs> okay, okay, no, no, no. I need. Okay, so the pony. No, this. I what? But but it leave. Yeah, sure, for sure, for sh leave. Uh huh. Okay, it's unclogged. It's done. Look exactly. Hello. There he is, the murderer. Okay. Ew. Okay. Uh-huh. 
Uh huh. Okay, I understand. I understand. Mm hmm. But okay, we didn't see anything. It could have been anyone. Oh no. Oh no. It disappeared. It's a ghost. What the hell? Oh. Oh, okay. Cell, come closer. I have something to show you. Okay. Okay, Charlie. I know you touched my pony. I thought we were friends, Cell. That was actually kind of cool. That was actually kind of cool, honestly. Oh. Okay. Man, you're still having those nightmares? I haven't had them this bad since right after my mom died. I really think it's this building. There's something off about it. I agree. I've been here for most of my life and haven't seen any ghosts. But... What? But what? Well, we've known each other for a while now. I, I have to show you something. Okay. Come on. Okay, let's go. Ready? Yeah. There's a staircase. Where? Oh, this is outside. Okay. You're going too fast. You're going so fast. No, no. Okay. Whoa. How come you never told me about this? It's where I go when I need to be alone. It's my fortress of solitude. Ah, oh, cute. Climb. My dad built this for me before he disappeared. His dad went to get the milk. Damn, I'm so sorry, Larry. I know how hard that is. Did your parents not get along? No, my parents loved each other. They hardly even fought or anything. It, it isn't what it sounds like. My dad didn't leave us. I believe you. So what do you think happened? Look, you know I'm not generally superstitious. And I know you and Chug swear that the apartments are haunted, but... Well, I think it's something else. Like what? I haven't told many people about this, but I know I can trust you, Cell. I know you won't judge me. Of course not. My parents got some firecrackers and they told me. So many times to wait for them. Not to play with them on my own. But I just couldn't resist, dude. I lit a few out back and one ended up in Mrs. Gibson's open window. It killed her pet rabbit. Oh man, that's rough. Yeah. So I ran to check on Mrs. Gibson, and she was screaming at me like crazy. I felt horrible though, that poor bunny. As I was coming down in the elevator, that's when I saw the demon. He just told us that it's definitely not haunted, and now he's talking about a demon. Dude, get your story straight! That is not making any sense! I thought I was losing my mind. He was gone as quick as he came, just as the doors opened. He cursed me. Because of what I did, he cursed me. Everything in my life was fucked after that. My dad disappeared. My mom stopped talking for a while. I had to spend two weeks in juvie for accidentally killing that rabbit. My bike got stolen. Ever since then, horrible things have happened to me or around me. So you think this curse took your dad away? I know how it sounds, but I know it's true. It's all my fault. My dad, the rabbit, Mrs. Sanderson, everything. It's not all your fault. <laughs> Just a little bit. It was like nothing I've ever seen before. It was like a moving shadow, all black and misty, but it had the form of a man. I've seen it too. I've seen your demon. No way, when? I swear, I've seen it in the building, just like you described. I bet it's linked to the other ghosts too. I don't know, dude. What if we break this curse of yours? How would we do that? Maybe there are some clues around that could help. We can try to find out more about the ghosts, See if we can get to the bottom of this. Sure, why not? I've got nothing to lose. Okay, so we need to uncurse him. I found this weird Gear Boy cartridge in the lost and found box a while ago. I think it reacts to supernatural activity. Oh, sorry. I... <laughs> I did that wrong. I did that wrong. I'm sorry. Okay, interesting. So the picture has supernatural activity. Uh, what's that? There's some kind of weird small box in here. Looks like it's sealed shut. 
That's a haunted box. What's in the box? I have no idea, man. It belonged to my dad. It's some kind of puzzle box. Never could figure out how to open it, though. Oh my god, not the puzzles, bro. Not the... Looks like there's a piece missing. Oh yeah, you're right. I never noticed that before. Do you mind if I hold on to this? Nah, go ahead. Cool. Ah, interesting. I'm gonna look around and see what else I can find. I sort of have to stay here and take care of my mom. She's super sick. Let me know if there's anything you need. Thanks, Sally. No problem, dude. Why? Why does he have a painting of the funeral? Wait, these are my memories. This is from my nightmare. The dog, the tree, the funeral, the face. I should ask Megan if she knows anything about this demon. I hope she'll come out today. Who's Megan? Who the heck is Megan? Okay, let's talk to Megan. I don't know who that is. Oh, who the hell is this boy? Oh my god, he looks like he has an annoying voice. Chug, what are you up to? Hi, Sally Face. I'm waiting for the snack guy to fill the machine. Can't start my Saturday without chocolate. I guess that's that's it. I hear ya. I like to start the weekend off with video games and cartoons. Did you see the new Rico's, Rico's Modish Wife episode? Yeah, that was great. I love that show. Me too! Looks like the machine is empty. Yeah, so is my tummy. Lost and found. Doesn't look like anything I can use right now. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go. I want to check all the floors, honestly. Because I'm curious. Who is it? It's Cell from upstairs. Is there something you want? I just wanted to talk to you. To me? Alright, come on in then. The door is open. I don't know, I haven't seen her, I don't know how her voice is... Oh... Hello there, Sally. What brings a young girl like yourself to see this old woman? Hi, Miss Rosenberg. I wanted to ask you a few things, if that's okay. Ask away, child. A great deal, wondering what's beyond the veil. Get too deep into these thoughts and the world makes less and less sense. Yes, time is an... How long have you lived here? Long indeed, though it's hard to say exactly. My old mind can barely hold on to memories of yesterday anymore. <laughs> yes, good talk. I think Mrs. Gibson would kill me if I bothered her again. Yes, most likely. Good evening, Sally Face. He calls me Sally Face too. Have you seen any ghosts around? <laughs> oh, heavens to Betsy. Please don't tell me my building is haunted. The last thing I need right now are some promiscuous phantoms frightening my tenants. No, no, it's okay, Mr. Edison. Everything is okay. I was, um... I'm working on a paper for school. Yeah, that's all. Okay, let's go to second floor. The people that lived here moved out after what happened with Charlie. Not weird. Charlie's old place. It's just unlocked. Ooh. Am I gonna find something? Man, that smell is still lingering. I'm definitely not going in there. Okay. Todd's place. Oh my god, so many characters. I don't really want to bother him right now. He's usually tutoring on the weekends. Okay. What happened to your pants? Oh, well. During the worst still, Sarah was supposed to die. But we just got talking in a giant rush like a... Does he talk like this? I feel like he talks like this. Is it because of the drugs? The drugs make him talk. College students! There's no camera in this floor. Someone stole the camera. Robert's place. He must not be home. Okay. Let's go home. The cat is watching television! Whatcha watching, buddy? There's the, it's, uh, there's the, the poopy. The, is everything the same? Oh. Oh. Edward shovel hands. <laughs> oh my god. This reminds me of Coraline. Can't talk right now, Sal. I have to make this deadline for work. See you later. Okay, let's go find Madeline. Megan. Megan. This sounds a little violent, Gizmo. You... Maybe you should... Okay. It's still like this. Open? I should call Larry up here so we can meet Megan. 
Then he'll have to believe that Addison apartments are haunted. Wait, Megan is a ghost? Larry, you there? I'm here, what's up? Can you come up to 504? So, what is it that you wanted to show me? So, what is it you want to show me? You wanted to show me? Oh my god, sorry. I'm ha- Listen, I need to read a lot. Reading? Come on, she's in the bathroom. She? Just come on. What? What the heck? Damn, these fifth floor rooms have seen better days. Better days. Shh. What? Just wait a minute. Megan, are you here? Hello? So you come up to this moldy bathroom to talk to a dead girl? How often do you come up here? I've been able to talk to her a few times, but like I said, she hasn't been around lately. I'm not crazy, Larry. I'm going to prove this to you. Hey, I never said you were crazy, man. As weird as this is, I believe you, okay? You're my best bud. And if this helps at all with finding my dad, then I'm all for it. Dude, know who you should go talk with? Todd. He's probably the smartest kid I know, and he's also into this supernatural stuff like you are. I bet it could help you somehow. Todd? Really? He always seems so... normal? Rational? Huh. <laughs> huh. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Well, I'll go talk to him and see what I can find out. Let me just check the other rooms. Oh? Okay. 502 was open. I was not expecting that. At all. <laughs> what is that? What is that? I don't like who. I don't like who. Hmm. 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 Todd's place. Hey, Sally Face. Oh my god, he looks like he has such a goofy voice. Okay. Sorry, it took me a while to answer. I was wrapping up a tutoring session with Ashley. Have you two met? Hey, I'm Ash. Oh my god, it's the goth girlfriend. <laughs> he must be Sally Face. No, this is Lisa's voice. Oh my god, I've heard so much about you. She wouldn't sound like that. Dude, I don't know, I don't know. I, uh, me? You, you have? Woo! Yeah, all good things, I swear. I'm glad I finally got to meet you. Uh, me too, uh, you you too. Uh, I mean, it's nice It's nice to meet you as well. Enjoy the weekend, boys. <laughs> you all right, Sal? You seem a bit anxious. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I'm good. I'm cool, cool, cool. Okay, so what brings you this way? Ash seems nice. Is she a freshman too? What is she like? Her full name is Ashley Campbell. She's a freshman, like us, and an overall nice person. She has some trouble with math. Math. So I've been tutoring her for the past couple of weeks. Oh, right. I see that people. <laughs> I see that people. This building is haunted and I'm trying to find out more about the ghosts here. Huh. I see. I need your help, dude. Thank you for telling me your story. I think I may be of some assistance with your exploration of the paranormal. Specifically, I have a suspicion that an uh, apparition resides in my bathroom. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. It does seem to be a strange coincidence that your Megan and my apparition are both found in, bath in bathrooms. Blah, blah, blah. However, it could also... <laughs> Oh, however, it could also be that the water pipes act as some sort of conductor for them, though that is only speculation on my part. Indubitably. Hello? Is anyone here with us? We're not going to hurt you. We're your friends. Hello? Is anyone there? I bet I can modify your gear boy to help better detect supernatural hotspots. Cool, sounds good to me. I'll need two things in order to complete the alteration. First, I'll need something to amplify the device's reception. And second, something to boost its electrical output. So like an antenna and a battery pack? Sure. Wait, so this is his house? Uh, drugs? Ah, so cute. Todd's parents are in there. I don't want to bother them. Yeah, that would be kind of weird. Bob, I like your fish. 
I already have stuff with me? Wait a second. Wait a goddamn sec! Oh, but the walkie-talkie can be used for the battery. Okay. Yes, the battery from your walkie-talkie will work perfectly. Curious, very curious. Where will I find an antenna? Do I do not know. I do not know, so do not ask me, because I do not know. My best friend, dude. My best friend has an antenna for sure. Larry, I need an antenna. Look at this. Hey, mind if I borrow the antenna from your scanner? Uh, I guess that'd be okay. Buongiorno! Yes, this will work perfectly! Oh, that was a, little, a bit loud. With the two components you retrieved and my own equipment, I can adequately make the modifications to the Gear Boy! I spoke of earlier. Give me a moment to get it ready. <laughs> okay, all said! Behold, the Super Gear Boy! Don't worry, you can still play games on it. Oh, awesome. You had me worried for a second. However, I unfortunately needed a few extra parts from your walkie-talkie and wasn't able to salvage it. I hope that's all right. Larry's not gonna be so happy about that. It's okay though, it's for a good cause. I suggest that we take it for a test run in my bathroom. Sounds good. Yes, sounds good. Okay, so whenever you're ready, hold up the super gear boy by pressing shift. Oh my god! Ghostbusters! Hmm, maybe I... It worked! Holy crap! Hello? What's the matter? I never thought it killed them. I... It's all my fault! Who? Stacy and her daughter. Oh god, what a fool I was to fall for a married woman! It's never a crime to follow your heart. <laughs> you must be a romantic like I was. It's kind of you to say, but I know better than that. We want to help you. Why haven't you left this place? We can never leave. What do you mean? You can't pass on? Ghost of Greg. Greg. No! 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 What? What is it? He's here. Who? Oh, the red-eyed man? The one who killed Stacy and her daughter? I have to go, I'm sorry. Oh, there he was! There he- That was a fully formed and conscious apparition. I've never seen anything like that. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. It's just one thing to read about the paranormal and formulate theories, and a whole other thing to actually experience it. I want to look into the history of Addison Apartments to see if I can find anything about past residents and about the supposed murders. That, that'd be... Uh. Uh, while you do that, I'm going to search for more supernatural hotspots. Oh! Oh, I can play the game! I can play, I can play, play! It's the king! Hello, king! Sorry, members only. Pardon my rudeness, ma'am. My name is Gregory Mont Montage. Montage. Oh, this is almost not a game. Like, I'm reading. I'm reading a lot. Oh. That no, no Satan. I don't want that. Uh oh, another. Oh, this one is different. I saw, I saw a ghost here. Yep. The demon, the red-eyed demon. Another one. Oh my God. The picture. That's right. The picture. Cell. Who are you? Are you Jim Johnson? No, no, the cell ever, ever, and my life will end. You're breaking up, I can't quite hear you. I re I re remember, remember the Red Bull. Red Bull. What do you mean? What are you? In gone ne each single talk Red Bull die. My life is weird. Yeah, your life is kind of weird. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I think I'm gonna make a toast. I think I'm gonna make a toast. I'm gonna make a toast. I'm definitely gonna go make a toast. Mmm! Oh, this definitely has ghosts. This place has to has have ghosts, like... Oh, my! 
What is that horrific device you have? It's a... um... Well, it's sort of hard to explain. You really shouldn't tamper with things that you don't understand. Hmm. Hmm. It's strange, but I can't find any reports of past murders. The only one that comes up is your, our friend, Charlie. But look at this photo of him on the public record. Uh, what the... It gets even weirder. There's no trace of any of the officers that were here the day Mrs. Sanderson was killed. Not even in the classified police records. Megan Holmes, age 7 lived in Edison apartments with her parents Luke and Stacy. Looks like it may be your little friend from upstairs. She must be the daughter that Greg from my bathroom was telling us about. Oh, that's definitely her. Wait a second. I've seen that necklace before. I know I have. She's never wearing it when I talk to her, but I've seen it somewhere else. Since you haven't been able to summon her, even with the super gear boy, perhaps finding that necklace will help somehow. That actually makes a lot of sense. It's something she had a connection to when she was alive. Now I just need to remember where the hell I saw the thing. Yeah, please remember, cause do what? Find her I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I need to eat. How the heck am I gonna find the, the ghost's necklace? Oh my god, it's just going, I'm just going from place to place, from place to place thing. I'm just uh, go, uh, trying to find things. I'm just uh, go, uh. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Okay. Work your magic whenever you're ready. Megan, are you with us? This is my friend Larry. We have some questions to ask you. Holy fuck, Knuckles. That's not a nice word, Larry. Where have you been lately? What do you mean? I've been here all the time, the whole time. I've been trying to reach you. I think when you're alive, you can see the other side. The other side? Yeah, that's where we all live. It's just like this side, but a little different. Do you know someone named Greg? Oh, you mean mommy's friend. I like Greg. He always brings me candy. Can you remember anything else about him? Um, just that he was nice and always brought candy. Uh, oh, and my daddy didn't like him so much, but I don't know why. Okay, I think we can... Uh, we what can you tell me about your parents? I miss my mommy. She doesn't talk anymore. What about your dad? Daddy scares me now. He scares everyone here. But he wasn't always like that. He used to be nice, like mommy. What happened? I remember they had a fight and then he was sad. Then his sadness turned into angriness. Mom cheated. But my daddy went sometimes with Miss Mr. Johnson. Wait, Jim Johnson? Yeah, how did you know that? That's my dad. Oh, I guess our daddies were friends. <laughs> Can you tell me where he is? Do you know anything else about him? Please, I need to know. I'm sorry you lost your daddy. I don't know where he is. I just know Mr. Johnson and my daddy went fishing a lot. I'm sorry. Is this your necklace? Hey, yes, where did you get it from? It was downstairs in the bottom of the lost and found box. My mommy gave me that necklace. She was scared. She said it would protect me from the evil in the world. She's in her bedroom, but she never she never listens to me anymore. I don't think she can hear me. Do you think she... Uh-oh. What? Daddy's coming. He doesn't like when I talk to people. I have to go. Bye-bye. Wait, I... Oh, no. Well, we're going to need to get into that bedroom, but it's all boarded up. David borrowed my mom's crowbar and never gave it back. Would you mind going and getting it from him? I've asked him like three times now and he always has some excuse. Maybe you'll have better luck. Sure. I'll head down to the third floor and see what I can do. Okay. Quickly. Quickly. Let's do that. They, we need to... La 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 I drove to Andrew's here, but you saw you the thing holding up my stuff right now? She... Those kids next are in 301, they're nice kids and all, but they have this real wild party sometimes, shakes the whole wall and myself falls right down. If Rich could talk to them for me, give them a real quieter, then I could write Rich brought the crowbar. Okay, I can talk to them, thanks Sal. Okay, I don't care. Hey, can you keep it down? His shelf is literally falling because of the music. Oh, is it? CJ. 
Yo, what's up, Sal? Hey, CJ, what are you up to? I'm trying to choose the music for our party tonight. Mind if I have a look? Go for it, little dude. Yeah, yeah. Wait, maybe, maybe, I haven't tried the other one. Listen, I know the camera is gone, but like, we just, we just, we're gonna have to do this without the camera. The least expected, this one. How about this? Uh, you know, there's something interesting about this one. It's unexpected. It's glassy. I think this could work. Bruh, really? Really? For real? Azaria, can I look into that book? Okay, this is loud. Charades can be very loud. You know what? what is not loud? Telephone. Telephone is not loud. How about this game? Hmm, you know, this reminds me of grade school. That touch of nostalgia could be just what this party needs. Thanks, Cell. Okay. Okay, what is not loud? Uh, chess? How about this? It has been a while since we've done a tournament. That's a perfect choice for tonight. Okay, I think that does it. Their party should be much quieter now. I mean, for sure, bro. I worked it all with the college students. They're going to have a much more low-key party this time. Whoa, that's great news. Thanks for helping me out. Shell will be so happy to. Last time our wedding picture almost broke up to pieces. I'm glad I could help. Right, let me grab that crowbar for yours. Uh, one second. Okay, here you go, buddy. Take care. Yes, thank you. Here we go. Should I use it? Yes. Oh my god. Pro I probably shouldn't, but like, uh, yes. Uh huh. <gasps> it's mom! Stacy? Are you okay? Oh no. <gasps> oh no. What the heck? Hole. There's a huge hole in the wall. Looks like there's a room on the other side. Please don't. Uh, point of no return. Crawl through the creepy hole. Abra, abra, abra. Yes. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. I'm a ghost. I'm a ghost. Look at me. I'm translucid. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? No, maybe not. Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm tripping. Oh, there's a rope. Who hung... No. <gasps> Hello? Bruh. Do I need to play this? Do I need to- Luke, can you hear me? Bruh. Luke! Oh my god. What the heck? What the hell just happened? Todd gave me one of his inventions. He said that, theoretically, it could overload and destroy an evil spirit. So that red-eyed creep has been here for decades. That was before I was even born. I guess maybe I'm not cursed after all. Yeah, who knew Edison Apartments had such a dark past? I thought living here with Charlie was freaky. Damn, this shit is nuts, dude. Well, I don't think we'll have to worry about the demon showing up anymore. Todd's thingy seemed like it took care of it. Oh, what is it? No, that's great and all. I was just thinking, I guess since there's no curse, this all means that my dad, he, he just... Oh no, Larry. <gasps> no. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cell. That's our time for today. The guards are giving me the look. Wait, that was only part of the story. I had hoped to get some honest insight from you today, especially with this being our last session and your trial in just a few days. I swear on my life, I've told you nothing but the truth. Government conspiracies, demons, ghosts, and some kind of magical video game system? Cell, these things don't exist. I know how it sounds, but what I've told you is the truth. Go to the treehouse, please. Just go and see for yourself. You'll find all proof you need. I didn't unlock the box, bro. What a fucking psycho, eh? Hmm. Easy, though. But easy, though. He's going to the treehouse. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's a me. It's a me, Mario. Even the trees are dead. 
Ugh, there's absolutely nothing up here. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I just needed to see for myself. Sal was so convincing and this whole thing seemed... has seemed... off. <gasps> oh! He's dead! Uh, Dr. Hannon? What? What? Ah! Don't freak out, man. We need your help. You have to get Sal out of jail. This shit is much deeper than we thought. Please. You have to get Sal here. This... This... You're... You, you can't be! Calm down, dude. You're gonna give yourself a heart attack. This is important. If Sal doesn't get here soon, then... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Shit. <gasps> Larry is dead. What the heck? What the? Oh, <gasps> he died. No way. No way. He died from dead. Bro. Bro. Well, that's going to be it for the second episode. Listen, it was a bit underwhelming, but then the ending was kind of like, what the heck? So I don't know. <laughs> well, uh, I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Uh...